Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the advanced count ifs function. Count ifs function is used to count record or value based on multiple criteria from different ranges or from different location. Suppose you are working in an organization and you are given this data with employee ID, last name, first name, gender, age, department, location, and finally the monthly salary. And your boss is assigning you to find some result based on the following condition. First, find the number of female staff in account department. Number two, find the number of total employees working in building one. Number three, how many male employees are there in HR department whose age is greater than 30. Number four, search for a female sales employee with a salary of less than $600. So let's go for it. I will zoom out a little bit. Write equal from your keyboard, then write count ifs. Press tab from your keyboard, the criteria range number one and criteria. Remember, for every element, you have one criteria and one range. Criteria is the value or the record that you are going to look for. In the ranges, the place or the location where your criteria is exist. For example, according to condition number one, we are going to find the number of female staff working in account department. So the criteria is the female and the criteria range number one will be the gender column. Criteria range number one. I will select the gender column, then comma from your keyboard inside the bulk station, write your criteria. I'm looking for female staff. Column, criteria range number two and criteria two. I'm going to look for account department and account department is located in a column department. So the department column will be my range number two and the criteria will be account. I'm going to look for female staff working in account department. Close the bracket, enter. There are about eight female staff working in account department. Let's go for condition number two. Again, write equal from your keyboard, then count ifs. Criteria range number two. Find the number of total employees working in building one. So the location will be my range and comma inside the bulk station B1 or building one will be my criteria. I'm going to look for the number of employees working in building one. Enter. There are about 12 employees working in building one. Let's go for condition number three. Again, write equal from your keyboard, then count ifs. What is condition number three? How many male employees are there in HR dep department whose age is greater than 30? We have three condition or three criteria and three ranges here. The first criteria range will be our gender. And the first criteria will be the male employees. Remember, we are going to look for male employees and male employee is located in range column comma from your keyboard, then criteria range number two will be our department. The range is the column department, again comma inside the bulk station. And what is the criteria? The criteria will be HR. We are going to look for HR and HR is located in the range of department, again comma, Criteria range number three will be our age column, comma, inside the bulk station, right greater than 30. 
Remember, we are going to look for male staff working in HR department and their age should be more than 30. Enter. There are four male employees working in HR department and their age is greater than 30. Excellent. Let's go for condition number four. Again, write equal from your keyboard, then count ifs. Press tab. We're going to look for female sales employees with the salary of less than $600. The first range will be the gender and the criteria will be the female. Okay. Inside the bulk quotation, write the female. Again, comma, criteria range number two. We are going to look for employees working in sales department. So department will be my range number two. Comma, inside the bulk quotation and write sales. Criteria range number three will be the salary column because we are going to look for employees whose salary is less than six hundred dollar so less than six hundred dollar is my criteria and the monthly salary column will be the range i will select the range inside double quotation right less than six hundred dollar So there are two female employees working in sales department and their salary is less than $600. Thank you for watching this tutorial.